What is um, dropshipping like uh, to like for like most people don't know what a dropshipping sort of vibe is. <laughs> Um, dropshipping like uh, to like form like most people don't know what a dropshipping sort of vibe is you know what is yeah yeah sure sure so now we can get into the dropshipping essentially <laughs> so dropshipping is a business scheme obviously it's not the uh, exact definition or the exact representation mm -hmm. but it is a scheme that i've adopted that i use in uh two of my businesses um and i'll branch off into something else that i use for my third business um where essentially dropshipping is you have the uh you have the manufacturer, right? Or you have the uh, the distributor, okay? Then you have the middle um, person, which is yourself, mm -hmm. and then you have the client. So you, as the middle person, is the drop shipper. So now what you do is that you make a connection between the distributor mm -hmm. or the person that's got the product, and you make the connection to the client. So now as the drop shipper, what you would do is that you would um, take that product, you would advertise it you would talk to the client um, and you would find out where they live you'd get the client to essentially buy the product right mm. and for that service of doing it you would make a like you'd do a mock-up right now obviously a mock-up is where you put like for example a profit on it where for that service you'd make a hundred rand profit okay yeah. now you go to the uh, distributor or the person okay. that, that made the product right you go okay listen I've got somebody that will buy it for however much you said you wanted it to be, right? But I'm going to put a hundred rand profit on top of it for the service of making it easier for you because I dealt with the clients. They go, okay, cool. Uh, I've got the product. I'll distribute it. I'll deal with the packaging, right? And it's all in their costs, right? You spoke to the client. You did the advertising. You got the client to be interested in it and you find out their address, X, Y, Z, um, and then you talk to the distributor, it gets distributed to the client. So basically and, like a, a, a freelance sales rep. Yeah, or, basically. And you don't hold onto any of the products and you don't hold onto any of the stock, which yeah. is why I've tried to implement it in my other like businesses. Because if you're not hold the issue nowadays, especially with people our age, we don't have the uh, facilities for that big man. We don't have the facilities to hold it yeah. in like to hold the products we also don't have the yeah, capital. We don't have exactly. The capital to... And the beauty with drop shipping yeah. is that you don't have to have money to start it. All you need to do is that you need to find a client that's interested in a product that you have or that you have like whereabouts about, and uh, they pay you, mm. right? You pay the. Uh, so for product. example, um, mm. I'm, I'm starting to pay, it's just in one to pay. Mm. You chat to Tristan yes. on my behalf, basically. Yes, and then I, yeah, so then, yeah, I talk to you, Tristan pays me, I pay you, I make a hundred rand profit just for the service of talking to Trist for it. You make money because mm. you obviously put your own profit on it. You benefit from it because you don't have to deal with the clients. Mm. I benefit from it because I don't have to hold onto the stock or do the distribution. Yeah. And then therefore, that's how I make my money from those profits because of the service of doing essentially advertising and talking to the clients and being able to make the connection. Yeah. And that's the beauty of drop shipping, where again, you don't hold on to any of the stock. You don't have to have any money or any capital in the beginning to start. All you need is an interested client that pays me. You pay the person with mm. the product, they do the distribution and you just sit yeah. there in your house, on your laptop, you not moving a muscle, <laughs> and you just like enjoy the product. Yeah. So you're trying to make it like, a, like accessible and super easy. Yeah. No, like, exactly. Oh, it's convenience. Exactly, exactly. And is there like a specific website or something where you find clients and like buyers and sellers? You know what I mean? Or how do you so, find those? So is it just word of a mouth? Very, a very, okay, yeah. So now, now we can get into this. So a very, a very nice website that you can go onto is let's just say for example take a lot mm. right that's a very well-known website in south africa that everybody uses mm. and what does take a lot do take a lot have people they outsource people or people want to sell their products they go on to take a lot right they sell their mm. products essentially and then take a lot just does the distribution for them yeah so it's the same it's a, all quite similar except the person has to have the products in mind but using take a lot you can take those products off of take a lot right take that but like make your own website with it sell those products make your own profit and then again it's essentially the same thing so good websites to look for products is take a lot arbolo 
um, O-B-E-R-L-O. That's another good one for distribution. Those are the two main ones that are very reliable within South Africa. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I would highly recommend looking into those websites. Um, but now in terms of the uh, advertising and things like mm -hmm. that, you can advertise on eBay, you can advertise on Facebook, uh, you can advertise on Instagram. But the whole scheme around it is that you have to develop your own website in order to yeah. sell the product or in order to advertise.